Here's your plan for listening. Set up alerts, and again, you know, Google Alerts still works. I've recommended it for years, but, but you might want to try one of those uh, new services, TalkWalker or Mention, and, and just go in. Put in your, your brand, your personal name, <laughs> the names of your products as alerts, maybe your competitors as alerts. You, know, you can set up as many as you want. Um, and and I, I typically put the send it to me once a day setting because I, I, there aren't too many instances where I think you know, something's going to be you know, an emergency and I don't want to get 50 emails a, you know, a day uh, throughout the day for this. Um, so set up those, those basic alerts. Now, you can take it as far as you want one, if you really, really like this. And, you know, some people will set up alerts for you know, anytime some very specific topic, I mean, like gray water, you know, is, is talked about, you know, that might not have thousands of alerts, right? So you might want to jump into something like that that's, that's pretty darn specific. Using, um, set up a tool to track Twitter. Um, I use Hootsuite. There's another very decent option called TweetDeck. Um, the real difference is TweetDeck actually comes down onto your desktop, um, and so you're not having to log in all the time. Um, I've heard rumors, Kelly, do you know have any? I've heard rumors that it's degrading and maybe going away. I haven't used it in a while. I've okay. Used now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I really like Hootsuite, um, and, and I'll tell you the, the, the main reason, um, and I think I do have a screenshot of it. Uh, the main reason I like Hootsuite so well is that I can actually monitor Twitter, but I can monitor Facebook, and I can monitor my Google Plus page, and I can monitor LinkedIn groups, and so. Um, I really can do a lot of things from the, the actual screen. I can do scheduling. So if I want to share something that I wrote on Saturday, but I don't want people to see it till Sunday in, in Twitter or something, I can tell it, you know, hold it for that amount of time. Um, so I would definitely recommend uh, Hootsuite. Um, I, I think there's still a free version. If you want to do a few of the extra little bells and whistles, it's five dollars a month or something in that neighborhood. If you want to have your whole team of people on it, maybe it'll cost you twenty dollars a month. It's uh, it's probably become the the tool of choice for for small business anyway. Social CRM, I'll add as part of your listening. Um, I mentioned that uh, I use um, Nimble as a CRM system. It just it allows me to you know pull up anybody I want to send an email to or somebody that I'm really following. Um, and it'll it'll just it's unified messaging. All the emails I've sent them, all the tweets we've done to each other. I can see their stream of you know Facebook and Twitter, and so it just really kind of gives me a, a quick look. You know, let's say I'm getting ready to call that person, or I want to send them an email. It also does some some neat things. I mean, it it, it you know all of these tools now um, are getting that the game's all about integration as well, <laughs> and so uh, Hootsuite and Nimble have a really cool integration. So I use the Hootsuite. Um, integration to Nimble, and what it allows me to do is, let's say somebody, you know, is talking about my business or, you know, really promoting, you know, something, I think, well, that's somebody I really, you know, I want to add them to, I want to add them to Hootsuite. I want to follow that person. Um, one click, they're put into uh, uh, to Nimble. I've got all of their uh, information, you know, pulled right in, you know, creates a record. I can tag it what I want. So, you know, the, a lot of these tools now are really good, doing a good job talking to each other. Uh, which is making uh, our jobs of, of managing all this easier. 